three. Hello, everyone. I'm Charlie, and today I'm joined by a very special guest. And uh, why don't you introduce yourself, Mr. Gator Guy? Well, hopefully I haven't been gone too long where, you know, people know who I am. But uh, formerly the, the the degenerate soccer guy that did all this stuff on this channel. Charlie, I just want to say, like, I'm so pumped that uh, you know, you're here taking over, doing all these previews and stuff like that, that, you know, for, for me, it was like my heart and soul into it for so long. Now my heart and soul goes into kids and my 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 real estate business. So, um, thank you, thank you. Means yeah, a lot dude, coming from you. I do, but it, it's been great. But we have boxing day now. Be real, is it just me or is it this weird that's only three games? Like I felt like it's a lot bigger. Three games and a staggered slate. That's very weird. It's staggered. It's I didn't even. Off. Okay, that's yes. That's, Liverpool that's Liverpool's later research. than the other ones. So oh, yeah, let's, oh let's that's move. good. I, I well, that's good, and it's not actually. Mm, let, let's talk about the strategy real quick. Because this yeah. used to be my thought process. When you have the biggest favorite and the team that's really going to depend decide the slate late, I feel like yep. some people make mistakes because they get too worried that like yeah. the player that they want is not going to be there. Yeah. So I got a I got a perfect thing. I saw that Simikas one week got got leaked as he's not going to play. Everyone had him then on, on, on the late Liverpool game. No one no one knew he was out. Like it was Joe Gomez at left back, so I right. I, I kind of prepared for that. I I my salary perfectly planned, so he was not in, and then there was a big edge there. So but there's always always edge for late. Games. And that's the other thing too is that people love the salary to be within like a hundred to two hundred. Yes, like nobody, yes, that too. Nobody wants to leave salary ever. So mm -hmm. like if you get that situation where it's a, you know to speak as we don't have to worry about later because he has a broken yes, collarbone, yes. so he's gone. Um, I don't know what's up with Liverpool left backs and break, broken collarbones, but that's the second mm -hmm. one. So watch yeah. out, Joe Gomez. <laughs> but um, you know, if you have that big drop off, like Sismikas is sixty five hundred and Gomez is fifty two hundred, you can almost guarantee people aren't going to play him. They're going to like do some sort of weird shoehorn to get somebody else in there and play some yeah. overpriced guy that they would never play, but because the salary fits, like okay. exactly. Yep, yep. So yeah, three gamer Liverpool, the biggest favorite. They played. Two and a half hours later than the other two, which are two definitely not the games to target, I'd say, unless you're looking for value. All right, you want to get right into the prices here? Oh, there's our there's a guy we're gonna talk about later. So yeah, most expensive Salah, Liverpool are all the top pieces. What do you think of this range right here? Who are you targeting on them the most? Yeah, well, I mean, everybody's gonna have Salah, so I think immediately. Yeah. And I'll tell you this, as as a pool fan. You watch the games right now, and it doesn't even feel like anybody else can score. Like yeah. Diaz, Diaz, you know, will will dive into the box, but always is a little bit nervous to shoot. It seems like, you know, Gakpo. God, like if anybody can actually remember him at PSV, like this is a shell of that guy. Like he was yeah, the set top pieces, goal. and he was the top goal contribution guy in the entire world before coming to Liverpool, and then he's a shell of himself. I like kind of like Darwin, like as a um. I think it's actually going to be kind of hard to get Salah and Darwin together. Um, you know, yeah. and Darwin's on this, like, nobody's going to like that game log for 9,400. Yeah. But, like, there when Darwin's at his best, like, he's getting seven to ten four points. And then if you get a goal or assist, then Yahtzee, you know? Yep, exactly. So, yeah, I mean. Yeah, I, I feel the same way completely. So, I you agree, though, like, Salah, Cash, 95%. Yep. And yep, then yep. – um, you know, epic GPP fade in this big type of thing. Like, because here's the deal. If he just gets a goal and not much else, and you can get yeah. a guy, a build that gives you the guy that got 20 at that spot, that's such leverage. And your yeah, build's going to yeah. be so much different than everybody else. Yeah, he kind of takes up so much salary compared to every single other guy. It's not even close. Well, I, I kind of feel like I kind of wish – it would actually be fun if he was like twelve thousand because he would still have the same ownership. Yeah, you're right about that. Um, like ten five is just kind of normal where we see him. Yeah, but just in this slide, there's no other really guy who's even. So who do you like? So obviously we already said first four. Who do you like for second forward? I'm looking around here. There's really not a lot because of what these games are. So there's I one kind of like. Yeah, what? who are you gonna, gonna say? say? I was uh, going to say Carlton Morris if he starts for loot. He hasn't been I, playing, but it, it, they could rotate because of how many games there really are during this it, time. Well, that's the cool thing. Is there's going to be a lot of rotation. I'm going to give you two two options that I think kind of 
stuck out at me. So go down. I think I think Townsend just from his old um what's the right word? His old reputation as a crosser, even though he doesn't take any set pieces. He did score yesterday. So he could get a little bit. Sheffield's whatever. Um, but you know, 10.7, 14.1, 19.4 the last three games. I could definitely see yeah. some people getting under that at 5,600. Not who I want is gonna say. I'm gonna say two other names, more of a talent play on both. Um, one is Cam Archer. I think it's Cam Archer. It's for Sheffield. You just missed it. Yeah, up. I think he got priced up a lot. Yeah, he 6K did. Now. He did, but it's home versus Luton. He was a former yeah. big time signing, big talent. You know, this is kind of supposed to be a stepping stone for him. So super talented guy. He's probably GPP. But yeah, you know, I could see that home versus Luton, Sheffield getting the big bump with Chris Wilder back. And then the other one, Django Atora, right there, 4,500, played left back last game, absolutely smashed it, 10.4 DK away to Forrest. Um, former League Goon guy, they signed for a big fee um, last yep. January. It was like 20 million. He's a winger by trade. Um, funny enough, like Milos Perkas, who's a big time signing for them too from Askmar, I think he was hurt. So he could come back in at left back, but he's been sucky anyways. And yeah. you know, Django could be there. Forty five hundred. If he starts at that left back role, he could do worse. I got one more name. That's Justin Clivert. I know yeah. he hasn't been crazy, but he like another guy you talked about for the talent. Like I yeah. know he's yeah, got a twenty game against Sheffield. This is a a Fulham at home is not too dissimilar. Like these are these are all tougher games that he had these horrible numbers at Villa at home, Palace and United are all tough places to go. I I think the reality is if you're not going to get a second Liverpool forward. By the way, this is going to be a reality. This is just the kid interruption. So apologies to the <laughs> to the crowd. But um, no, I, I think if you're not going to be able to get that second Liverpool forward, which look, we don't know who it's going to Actually, Darwin's going to start. Like we yeah. know that. He didn't start versus Arsenal. He's going to start here. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, I'm not worried about that. But if you're not going to have that money, for the, if you're not going to spin up the second forward, then you might as well just punt it. Like there's nobody in between here. Yeah. Now, what do you think of Dom Solanke coming up? I was Patrick? just about to, just about to talk about him. Like he's kind of cheap at this price, considering the numbers he's been pulling. In Fulham away, yeah, Fulham at home, it's even better. No. Well, no, I'm saying it's Fulham away though. Bournemouth is at home. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you so know, like, always like a home guy. Yeah, yeah, me too. And just been—I don't know if I'd get there in cash, but you know what's funny GPP though, I think. Sure. I think he could get over on GPP. He's just at like that little drop down price of seventy eight hundred. Nobody yeah. likes anybody below him. He un- honestly could get overheated at like you know. 30, I think 40%. he'll be super owned considering who else is on this slate. There's not a ton of other so, really big scoring forwards. So maybe he's the actual fade in GPP over Salah. Like you know, you, you know the build. Everybody's gonna because go, just Salah on PKs versus Burnley. Yeah. I mean, he's just God, he's just a. I was joking with an Arsenal fan yesterday that uh, um, he was like, "What was Njinko doing on that goal?" And I'm like, "Just watching a beautiful man at work." Like Salah, just yeah, it was, it was such a nice what goal. A beautiful man. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I think yeah. this is Ford. Ford sucks. Find yeah. a second goal and you'll be in great shape. Mids. Well, the one name I'm looking at right away. I mean, Lock. Yeah. How disappointing was that game though for him? I had him a little bit in GPP yet. Um, up a up a man for what sixty minutes? I know that not even goals. for better when they went down a man. Gibbs went from two points to seventeen after the red card. Yeah, I mean he's but at home again, like in England, it's such big splits home and away that I think yes. um, Tavernier um, could be a really good play. He's expensive. Now I also mentioned what what are your opinions? Because I can't get him right this year. What is your your opinion on Shaw Sublai for Liverpool? Okay, I have my rule with him is if you see both Simikas and Trent in phase, if you only okay. see one of the two, which we will hear, I think he's a good play because he'll split sets when there's yeah. one of the two. Even if it's a double righty, he'll, he'll still hop on with Alexander Arnold. We saw last game he copped on a couple after. Well, yeah, Mikas got injured. Yeah, it's the weirdest thing this year is um, Liverpool always do outswingers. Um, yeah, you know, it's normally except for for Shaj apply, uh, he'll do yeah, an inswinger on the for- other side. And they don't yeah. like to let they don't like to have Trent run all the way over there. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, I think it's I think it's fine. Like he he started out really well. He he's kind of pressing it right now, but he did score in the League Cup. You know, he had a yeah. really good he had a really good opportunity versus Arsenal yesterday in like the 65th minute, like top of the box. Nobody nobody was closing him, and he just he missed his goal by like 
six, seven yards. And it's just like, you know, the guy's just not on his game. But I do think he's a solid play. Who yeah. do you take between Hard- him, Tavernier or Shasha Bly? God, I think it depends what my third team ends up as, since I don't know if I'll be able to really have the luxury of just going all Liverpool guys. So I might go Tavernier just to have another team in there. That's fair. That's fair. Another guy I kind of want to talk about is Harvey Elliott. Mm-hmm. I saw him like in the Europa League. He took sets over semi class one game, although it didn't happen the next, very next one. But then he still had like 14th floor in the cup. And I think he's super solid. I think he could end up having a share of set pieces. That's a big time. Was, that's a GPP rotate. play. And he should come in. It's just weird, though, because normally, you know, Liverpool play the three man mid- middle midfield. Uh, Shasha Bly yeah. uh, hovers on the right. Then you got Endo or McAllister when he's there in the center. And then normally it's Gravenberch or Curtis Jones um, on the left side. I don't know that Elliot will play that role, but, you know, I, they, they, they need something. They're, they're going to change something up because that offense is just yeah. kind of sputtering. So. Herrera, too. That's another interesting one for Cash, too, especially. Although he's. Uh, I, d- I don't like him miss. away. I really don't like him away. Yeah, I, um, I understand that. He's one of those guys, Fulham in general, is just a different team at home than they are away. Although they were bad at home too last game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, you know, RIP to all of our wallets because I thought it was a great spot. Yeah, yeah. Dowie, what are your thoughts on Dowie? Alfie Dowdy? I mean, Dowdy. he's great. Like, he's he's a guy that just pumps and crosses nonstop. I mean, <laughs> that that's always been my brand on this platform is, you know, the, the more cross, a guy cross, likes cross. to cross and doesn't care if it's <laughs> accurate or not, that's a great place. I've not seen a ton of other stuff in this mid range. I think you're probably going one of those. All right, pause there. Guys. Pause there. Uh, who do you see? Who are you liking? I mean, I mean, we got to talk about Ollie Norwood, don't we? Fifty four hundred. Uh, I hate talking about. I, I do Norwood. too. I do too. It's just like talking about <laughs> Joe Matinho or you know what? What in the FSI chat? I, I hope I you got to chuckle out of. But I think who was it? Uh, uh, Lewis somebody. Cook. Lewis Cook, and I was just like, you know, <laughs> Lewis Cook is Joe Matinho's like grandson. You know, it's. Uh, yeah. Those players are always really scary, right? Because they're they're completely dependent normally on the Opta score, the Opta score like in the award tackles or set pieces. And we love set pieces, but we like a little bit of open play value on top of those yes. set pieces. And even um, upside too. He has not really any upside. It's like a I penalty. Mean, I, think I mean, he'll so take. you gotta think about this though. Sheffield's two chapters, right? We've got pre Chris Wilder. This yeah. season where they were absolutely terrible. Then post Chris Wilder and Chris Wilder, if you can remember, like back in the championship when he took him up the first time, like he's crazy, man. He has a crazy system. Yeah. He, he has center backs overlapping. He has, you know, there's not that much defensive shape. It's a lot more attack. Yeah. So I don't know. I wish, I wish if Norwood's 4,400, he's a lot, right? Yeah, exactly. The 5,400 is just that maybe a little too much. Now, this is my true Sheffield bait that I always play. Gustavo Hammer. I think he'll split with Norwood if he starts. Like, he's been pretty horrible, but I'd say he's more attacking than Norwood. I don't think that's a crazy statement to make, but... If if any if know. anybody wants to know why Charlie wants him so bad, like, go back and look at his Coventry scores. Yes, And you'll yes. understand why. Love Hammer. Even though, I don't know if he's premierly qualified. There is our boy. He's questionable. So that's why he went off. I thought it was tactical. Nah, he got injured. He wasn't even doing that bad either. Three and a half and 30 Oh, and he even had the cross. He had two crosses, which you know were set pieces. So Yeah. If he's in, I don't know. (laughs) Maybe. So I don't think – I think it's too risky to play Curtis Jones at 4,500 because I don't think he'll start. But he actually was not DFS good. He was just actually like real life good. Yeah, no, it was DFS good, too. It was too. pretty DFS. 6.1 for 60. I mean, <clears throat> I didn't play that showdown because I was too vested emotionally. Um, <laughs> but, you know, that's that's not bad. Don't play Endo. Endo's terrible. Like, yeah. he's okay for real life, but he's terrible for DFS. I kind of want to Ugh, play Ross Barkley real quick. Ugh. Look at that. that he, had, he had 12, 13 points against New Jersey, So Yeah. I know he doesn't take, but, like, he has the, those possibilities yeah. of I mean, those, those big games. I mean, it's not as gross as I thought when you clicked, but I don't even click <laughs> him because I just. He doesn't have set pieces anymore. And he's just Ross Barkley. Yeah. He used to so, be all right. 
<clears throat> I think there's the only day. one guy. I think there's only one guy left that we have to talk about at midfield. My boy, who might not start, but the legend that is Ryan Giles. You even missed him. I think he's 34. Oh, he's 31? 31? 31. Mm-hmm. So go back to the first two games. There you go. <laughs> I mean, so go back to Ryan Giles in the championship. And I can't even remember who he played for. It wasn't Luton. But Blackburn. I mean, he played for Blackburn and Blackburn? Middlesbrough, I think, after that. I mean, yeah. anybody who played first, he crosses the ball. Like, that's that's what he's on in life to do. And yeah. the best part, you know, doesn't even cross the ball, like, accurately. So it just goes into it for another cross right afterwards over and over and over and over and over again. And he just racks up points like crazy. So the best part is we get him early, though. So if he starts, like, he's the easiest play on the entire slate. I don't know if he'll start. He got 45 minutes, so yesterday. Could happen. Yeah, I worry a little bit about that because he's been sharing with Kabore. It doesn't matter like, at 3,100, Charlie. It doesn't matter. It I doesn't know, matter. I know, I know. 3,100. I like I wish he had set pieces too. I would. Not I know, but it's just like you, we just went. The, the weirdest part of the slate is that like there's like nobody that you really love want to play. Like okay, there's like yeah. two like guys that are like easy clicks, right? TAA and Salah, which we'll get to TAA, yeah. and everybody else you're just like. Yeah. So if we all of a sudden we get thirty one hundred, maybe now we get Darwin, who I think is actually a really slick low play. And now we're not yep. having to like worry about Django or having to worry about second forward. Maybe now we don't have to worry about Ollie Norwood. Like all of a sudden, everything opens up if we get a guy like that. So that's how I'm taking it. It's more like I, I agree with you. More than like they'll end up on him. Oh, yeah. But I think a lot of times those plays are less about what they produce and more what they allow. So. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Defenders. Trent, he's, he's been priced up quite a bit here. Although probably worth it. Really. You see that 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 crossbar is so bad. Ugh. Oh, dude. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, five on one break. I, I was joking with the Arsenal fan too. That was like a complete redemption on the Liverpool Gerrard slip. Was yeah. the Arsenal collision at the top of the box that allows a five on one? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. But I, I mean, you know, here, here's what I've always said about defenders back to like, you know, my content days was if TA was at midfield on the slate, he'd be 10K. Yep. Instead, okay. he's at defender. So the algorithm is always a little bit broken on defender and he's eight. So, play. It's just weird though. He's not even like he doesn't even this year do his normal TAA stuff in terms of like he's not going to get you a twenty five cross game, but he just he just pumps out stats. Yeah, yeah. He's been he's kind of traded those crosses for shots now, considering it's so far forward. He passes too, always a ton. There's just not really a choice around him. Yeah. <clears throat> what are your thoughts on six K Joe Gomez? <laughs> I, I couldn't believe he had nine and a half points and I half. <laughs> um, he was really getting forward because like Liverpool really kind of was controlling the second half. But no, I mean, I have no interest at all. Like yeah, he's not going to cross the ball. Um, I, I would assume Liverpool is going to be a little bit more um, pragmatic versus Burnley yes. in terms of trying to get trying to get uh, some goals earlier and then set back a little bit. So yeah. uh, I don't really see it. I always, I always talk about Jedi Robinson, as he likes to be called. Like, I mean, the 13 interception game, the 13 interception game. I yep. mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't know who he paid off in the Opta. Uh, yeah, that was crazy. Screen. <laughs> I've never seen that before, by the way. He had seven against Newcastle, too. I mean, he's pay- obviously the, doing some Jedi mind tricks on somebody. But I, I remember, I don't know if you, if you were playing a lot of DFS at this time, but... Um, like peak Leicester time, Wilfred and Didi, like the season after they won, he would have games that they would give him like eleven tackles. And I, yeah, I don't. That was before my time. I I don't think that it's possible to get eleven tackles one in a game. But... We kind of get that from Pauline. Pauline has super similar numbers to True. that now. I mean, he's like the modern day Indidi, I guess. Yeah, and Didi will be back in our lives next year, though. Leicester's dominating. The oh yeah. So yeah. With their three-way set piece with a Dewsbury Hall and Futawu. Well, you know the funniest the part about a team like that is in this way off topic. We're boring everybody, but suck it up. <laughs> We've got the sand. But like uh those teams that like dominate the championship, they so rarely will just take the same team up to the to the next. They're just like, oh, the yeah. guys don't have enough speed or they don't have enough technique for the prim. 
So we'll see yeah. what they actually end up being. So any other defender you actually like? Because I don't like anybody else. God, uh, on sites like these, I barely even ever talk about anyone else besides you play your set piece guy, and then most of the time you end up just paying down with them. Yeah. Well, there's a chance Sheffield Sheffield starts a cheap wing back because um, yeah, Bogle's they got a couple. Well, Bogle's suspended. Um, like so Luke Tom, yeah, Luke Thomas. But the problem is, is everybody that I know that are like back. So it's Baldock's right footed, but he sucks. And yeah, then, but he's also been playing like the back three center back too. Yeah, yeah, um, that's right. So I don't know if and because Basham, who they love, he's injured too. So I don't know. Um, I think just this is a slight that if you find a twenty five hundred guy that's starting, like it might make sense to just utilize that and spend up somewhere because there's nobody good. Like yeah, I like I think an Austin Trusty wouldn't be bad. That's a there's a little bit of American bias right there. Very good. Yes, there's a little bit of American bias. But no, I mean, I mean, if he starts, whatever, former Arsenal guy, former Rapids legend. I don't know. I don't even know if he goes up for set pieces. I don't even think he's that tall. He's tall. He's actually tall. He's just not aggressive. (laughs) (laughs) That's a bad one shot. Center back. Bad. He's had one shot this season. (laughs) So, so it sounds like you do the same thing as me. So, like, I'll call it like a tricks of the trade when you're down here punting don't look at these scores for guys look at their shots and if you can get a yeah. guy that has like a shot a game or something like that at least you're live for a random ass goal you've made me look at his score in 1.4 with a clean sheet and a shot that game yeah, that's so obviously that's the four <laughs> fouls and a yellow at home versus brentford yeah I, i'd still i'd still be quiet uh, it doesn't Jack Robinson, that's too. it doesn't matter well, Jack Robinson is small. Yeah, but Look, he, he's, he's prob- small, but he's he one of the shots. overlapping center backs. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Although I think he played in the center. I think he played in the center last game. I don't know. Just if you if you have the chance, like, and you guys are looking at the slate, whoever's on that outside center backs under Wilder, they actually have a chance to get forward. So, you know, they're not the worst plays. But just fit, play whoever fits at this point. Job, yeah, but... for Fulham, job for Fulham is aggressive. He is a big guy. He does get shots, even though he only serves three. I've watched him score goals, so he is pretty aggressive. Um, Reem, I think, is still hurt. Yeah, man. If Bajatic was healthy, imagine D slot. Oh well, field. he would. I mean, Endo, Endo, like needs a break at this point too. So he could have played that six role for Liverpool. That would have been nice. Yeah. But yeah, Luke Thomas, there at thirty one hundred, has a chance to start. You know, that would be a wing back. Doesn't I mean? Doesn't act like a wing back, but. It's the theory of it. <laughs> exactly. It's like, oh man, we've had we've had some fullbacks that don't do anything. Well, who's it going? Nathaniel Klein. We always think should yeah. be something. Never, Never. is. <laughs> All right, goalies. Do you have anybody that you like? I'll actually give a goalie pick. Oh god. Um, so I actually do this, Charlie. Who do bothering. you not like? Who do you not like? Okay. I don't like Crawford. I don't think he's that good. Uh, I'll, I'll stand not. by that. Like he's cost like fifteen million or something. He just doesn't. Or he had a ton of saves against Brighton, but that was rare for him. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like Liverpool are more likely to hit four past him than him make ten saves. And Liverpool just aren't pumping like, a lot of shots either. That's the other interesting thing. Like, yeah, I don't know. You're you're just not getting those like fifteen shot on goal performances. I, I I like picking a goalkeeper from this Luton Sheffield game. It should be tight in theory because it's a relegation game. Now the team wants to lose, so one of I, I there should be a clean sheet in that game. So I go one way or the other there. Yeah. So I cannot see a world that I play Allison. I just think salary. He's just not going to have it here. Um, yeah. And it just feels like the perfect game where Liverpool could win like four to one, mm-hmm. and Allison has like two saves, one of which is you know, gets conceded and he gets like a seven spot. So I think Leno 4,400 will get really, really pumped in cash. Yeah, he always is. Well, because he also gets – and Bournemouth can fire a ton of shots. I mean, that game log is going to bring people to him. So yeah, I think that's the chalk. That is you know, going to be the chalk. And if sure. you're kind of like me and Charlie's the same way, I even in cash, I like to kind of get off the chalk goalkeepers. Yes, yes. Um. So, you know – it's worse. fine. It's, it's fine. I mean, it could be one of those things. Build your whole lineup with Leno, and then if you have enough salary, go up or down. Yeah. 
In terms of core, what would you do? I'd have Trent first in. Trent Salah. And what would that that third spot would be interesting. I mean, it's probably Tavernier, Shasha Bly, or like uh, Dowdy. God, it's hard to go both. I would <laughs> like to if I could. Um, I mean, it just depends on what happens at forward. But yeah, you know, I, I I think the only two like it, this is probably like a two man score type of situation. Salah's Trent, everybody has, and then you know you look for your guys. You know you look for Giles. You know if he gets to start, that makes life easy. If you see a cheap wing back, you know you see Luke Thomas. Even though he sucks, you just go whatever. Like yeah, thirty one hundred. Yeah. You're just trying to fit your Liverpool pieces. So I want to ask you this, and we can get the screen. You get the screen. What's your um? You're a much much better GPP player than me. Like, what's your like? What's going to be your way to differentiate on a three gamer here? Okay, so I think immediately you just look to the other games. Like a Salah fade in GPP, I think is really interesting. Like you just do a little Bournemouth stack. I'll definitely just do little mini stacks of all of these other games and then i just supplement that with the safer floor options on of liverpool like a liverpool like a, i mean like a trend so does a trend go in like every lineup or does he go in like 90 percent? he goes on like 95 percent. i might have one or two just to like if i would defeat him the way i'd get different is i'd go a liverpool stack without trent i'd go okay. show show, show and then like uh Nunez and like Diaz or something. So or, essentially, you go. I know every single Liverpool stack known to man is going to have Trent. So let me just have this not. Yes, he has, yes. He has a decent enough floor game. He has ten points, but ten points isn't winning anybody a GPP at eight thousand. Exactly. Exactly. No, that makes sense. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard to get away from the like. It's hard to like. You make ten lineups to have to have any lineup without Salah and Trent. Because you're just like I know those are the best plays in this league. Yeah, so that's I mean, exactly why that'll be a way. That'd be a way to get different is just and, being even one of them. And I assume too, the higher the stakes as well, the the harder the harder it is to unclick those guys. It's just like this is a three hundred fifty dollar yeah. entry fee. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, I mean, but that's how I do it. I wish I wish there was more in the site. I wish there was like one more late game or just one extra game, just to like a actually like solid mini favorite yeah. with some nice little plays in there. It's a weird one. It's, it's definitely like my least favorite boxing site in a while. Yeah. But yeah. So any, any final thoughts for you? No, I don't think so. I think we covered it pretty good. 30 yeah. minutes, just... 30 minutes for three gamers is a long one. So oh, God, we yeah, got some good bad. content. It's and... been great having you on though. Come on, do you want to say hi to the, everybody else? Say hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's going to tell me something, so we probably should go. Charlie, it's been awesome. Thank you again. And I, I'll just say this. You know, this is, like, unsponsored. Make sure you guys check out FSI. How much longer? You have, like, a couple of days left of the free trial. I think then... end, end of December. You yeah, have another week so, about. So great great time to jump in and see what, what it's about before January we start getting, once winter rate comes back, tons of slates to the end of the year. So. Mm-hmm. That's right. All, All right, right thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yep, absolutely, man. Talk to you later. Bye.